Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and my goodness it is a really really big week. We have that amazing triple conjunction occurring in your sign at 18 degrees, the conjunction between the north node the point of fate and life purpose where we're moving towards in this lifetime, Mars and Uranus. So it's a huge conjunction coming in. We also, and that is a kind of a real activation point, a, a point where something's been asked to change or a part of your life's been asked to change. We've also got the, the new moon in Leo occurring on the 29th of July, give or take a day. So the conjunction's happening on around the 1st or 31st, depending on where you are. And then we've got this lovely new moon occurring in Leo, which is being slightly overshadowed by this the huge conjunction energy. This is a pretty lucky energy because it's trining Jupiter as well, which is the planet of luck, benevolence. We have for you take charge of this situation, the message coming through. It may be that you're required to have a lot of faith at this moment in time and you've been asked to step up onto the plate to take control of something or you're wanting to con take control here because uh, it might feel like you're up against some pretty big forces here that uh, are outside of yourself. And so it really feels like something big is being asked of you this week. And yeah, I feel like you're kind of stepping into the plate or uh, you're wanting to step onto that plate and take charge of the situation anyway. So let's see what else is coming through for you, Taurus, around this energy. What else does Taurus need to know in terms of... Ooh, we have the stingray. Okay, this is the element of water. A lot of element of water here. I mean, we can see Moses parting the sea, these huge waves coming in. So it feels like there's a new wave of energy, but there's a lot coming up from the surface, a lot of things that have just been there hovering on the surface. So I feel like you've uh, been getting a lot of information around this as well. You've kind of already getting the whisperings. You, you know what this might be about. So that makes a lot of sense. The stingray energy is also saying anything to do with your spine. Any kind of back alignment or spinal alignment is something that could really help this week. So any kind of exercises or any kind of practitioners would be great, as well as any kind of chakra balancing if you want to do any kind of meditation or you know how to do that. So that's there's a couple of things that can come up that can help you align those energy centers because a lot going on for you energetically, but they keep saying, keep the faith, keep the faith, have faith, really believe in yourself. Uh, so these are kind of some energies that are coming through for you. So let's pull some more cards around the situation coming in. So what do we have? The five of shells, hope and readjustment and the two of feather, feathers, decisions and directions. So, yeah, I do feel like it's like almost like a pivot point that you find yourself at. This two of feathers is where there's a choice that lies in front of you and it can represent uh a big, a lot of little choices as well, like a lot of decisions that are coming up to be made, or one big decision that's coming up to made be made. And the five of shells would suggest that there's some kind of readjustment that is wanting to bring in more hope with these decisions that you, that you're bringing in at this moment in time. So yeah, I feel like it's kind of yeah, a big some big things that are coming through here. And sometimes the two of feathers can be hesitation to make these kind of adjustments that are coming through. But I feel like the light comes back on when you like you, you connect back into this energy of hope and faith when you're able to make the decision to kind of shift direction and readjust where you're at at this moment in time. So that's that's all where something's at in your life at this moment in time. So Sorry, Taurus, a bit of smoke just got up my, um, went through my throat. So I feel like, you know, I like this glow of this five of shells. I like this sense that something's feeling a lot warmer, that it, it has something is going to have a glow in your life, that it, it gives you this sense of seeing the things around you that you feel comfort you're taking comfort and you're feeling protected we've got this king of swords so it's a decision making energy coming in with the king, king of swords lots of decisions to come through strategies working out directions for things so we also have the knight of pentacles this would say these are potentially long-term decisions about your finances or where you see yourself living or where you see yourself working or even where around your health sort of some big decisions around that coming in as well. But it's saying don't need to rush. 
with that Knight of Pentacles, you can take your time. The King of Cups, a lot of kings coming in, so a lot of divine masculine with Moses as well. So this would suggest that there's action that needs to be taken. Boom, the tower. Okay, interesting. And the chariot energy coming through. And we have at the base the hermit. Okay, so wisdom is a really, really important thing. This is like the boom, the, the conjunction that's coming here. The King of Cups is the card of Scorpio. So something that is deep, runs deep within you, something that you're deeply connected to, there's this sense that with the tower energy that you, there's some kind of revelation or big activated change that comes in around this. This could be a person as well. So the King of Cups is a Scorpio energy. It's about managing money, managing emotions, managing, just managing people, man managing your time. There's a lot of sense of managing uh, what's going on here, but it's kind of almost like something's a little bit out of your control with the tower energy. And it, it's kind of managing this big shift and change that's coming through here. Now, it's interesting that uh, the North Node is in your sign in Taurus, which means the South Node, which is the, the, the point that of the things that we're letting go of here. We've already learnt them in past lifetimes, if you want to believe in or in the past, and it's it's time to let go of that. And so there's potentially revelations around what it is that you need to let go of in order to move forward in into making this readjustment. And so the chariot energy is where you're like, right, okay, I am going to have to address something, like something comes up with the tower, boom, and the, the chariot energy is where you are overcoming this. You're you're kind of uh, through sheer willpower. You're driving something home to victory and success, and seeing what is right for you now, what you've outgrown, and what you're ready to step into. What has been awakened, and so with the the tower and the chariot energy, like these are two major arcanas, big energies to come through. And this is where it's it's like a test of your willpower, a test of your fate to kind of step into this fated energy that's coming through, this big activated change that's coming through with the chariot energy. And a lot of it with the chariot energy can be around your home, around where you're living, your home space as well. So that's something that could be shifting and changing as well. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't have to be like a big boom, it's all happening this week. It can be an, a, a, an activation or a revelation. This could be something that's happening deep down inside of you in terms of your emotions about how you're feeling about something because this is why the hermit energy and I'm saying that because you're next to the king of swords here I mean sorry the king of cups which is emotions run deep around this so but there, there could even be a lot of psychology around it could be psychologically based or something happening around that but the hermit wants to look deep and see what he can see within and when you see the answers and find that wise counsel deep within yourself, that's when you're going to know the direction to take when this big activated change comes in with the tower. And that's when you're potentially going to see the things that have awoken within you. And that's where you get the glow of the five of shells where you're feeling more hopeful. You can see that the hermit it's using the star to look within, to see the direction, to feel like you've been guided through your own inner light. And this is what, when that light, when you can connect to that, which is really lovely, it's this sense of, I feel like there's things that you're seeing that you're going to be really grateful for as well. There's precious things around you. And sometimes this South Node energy here with the King of Cups, it not only shows you what it is that you've outgrown and you're ready to let go of now, but it's also showing you where perhaps you might have some gifts and abilities. So I feel like it's kind of like something gets kind of cracked open. This could be some kind of breakthrough that occurs. And it's a sense that you suddenly see that you've got these lovely shells around you here. This is something that is really precious and lovely and I'm getting the echoes of the sea, the echoes of something deep that's occurring because we keep having these. There could be some big emotions around. I mean, look at that that raging sea. Look at this sea here. There's a lot of that around and this King of Cups in the centre may be a lot of the week may be around just managing and dealing with those emotions and there could be something unexpected that comes up that you have a very... Uh, potent emotional response to but that's what I love about this five of shells in that it's got the messages of the sea when you put the shell up to your ear and you're hearing 
this something deep down inside of you that is uh, giving you some emotional messages and signals. And it feels like there's something very beautiful. I feel like there's almost like something that was lost is returned or something that you had never seen you can now see. And I feel like this is potentially something of great beauty inside of yourself here as well, Taurus, which is really lovely. And that's the thing that guides you through this energy, which can be quite turbulent with the tower energy, expect the unexpected. There could be, uh, you know, unexpected changes and revelations and things coming through with it. But you drive it home with the chariot. You're like, right, I'm taking these two energies, these two sphinxes, these things that just it feels like I, you know, the sea has been parted with Moses. Things are heading in two very different directions perhaps and I'm, I'm willing it into focus, willing into it making sense so that it feels like I'm successfully maneuvering this big shift and change that's coming through here. So I think through sheer force of willpower, strength of mind and uh, being able to connect into some of these deeper emotions and connect into your deeper wisdom, you're really making some really, really strong decisions around the direction that you're going. And this is kind of bringing you back into alignment uh, because it may not feel like it at the time. It may. It may feel really feel amazing. But it's going to be different for all of you. With the tower, this is a rectangle building with a round crown. Something no longer fits in your life. And so this is where it is taking a lot of your strength to kind of uh, manoeuvre and work with the situation, yet, but you're very much being told to take charge of this situation. That's the message that's coming through for you here, Taurus. So I feel ultimately that this activated change is leading to this beautiful inner glow, leading to some gifts and abilities and leading to feeling more hopeful and it's just a matter of arriving and landing at that place. So let's see. We have as your, I love this for you, as your message, your affirmation, divine wisdom guides me. That is exactly this, the, the hermit card. And I actually got told to pull it up and see what card lies underneath. And you know what lies underneath when you, you let that divine wisdom guide you? The empress. Beautiful. This is your ruler, Venus. This is the empress. Expect a great outcome. It's like it may not be quite revealed to you as yet. The Empress connects you to the things that you love and enjoy and take pleasure in, connects you to love and money and connects you to the to abundance, really. So that is the thing that is hidden beneath all of this, but it's hard to see it. We really had to kind of unearth the, the hermit energy to see that. And so it may not feel like it right at that moment, but that's kind of where this energy, the tower can feel really disruptive, like I said, and it can feel like, ah, oh, when the dust settles and you go deep and see what lies within, that's where I think you, you see the empress energy and that's where you get this sense of seeing these beautiful gifts and abilities or that there's something that is really good has come out of this. So this is the rest of the message. It says, I am guided throughout this day in making the right choices. <laughs> Decisions, directions, lots of choices ahead. Divine intelligence continuously guides me in the realization of my goals. I am safe. And this is the chariot energy of just like I'm I'm taking charge, I'm realizing a goal, I, I'm steering the ship in the right direction here. So, yeah, wow, I think you're really going to know what you're made of here, Taurus. And I think that if you look deep within and see this beautiful five of shells, these beautiful gifts here, I think it's going to be like this sense of a warm glow, which is really lovely. So I feel like a lot of the gifts lie within and then it's just a matter of how that is going to eventually, uh, yeah, it, like transcribe to your external world or yeah, come out to the external world. So that's your message, Taurus. My goodness, it is a huge week. This is one of the biggest weeks, if not the biggest week of the year for you. So uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.